Hello, hi, and welcome to today's class. Uh, this is the final part of the fundamental Excel class. I am still first of Gumbayo, your tutor, and I'm glad you made it to the final section. I would like you to tell me how the journey has been. Have you been able to practice or do certain things? Just send us an email at buyanalytics395 at gmail.com and you'll get a response to this. However, you can also drop a comment under this video. I would respond to you. It has been a very, very, very nice session and journey with you. Now, let's let's quickly take uh, another look at some of the things we've learned and what we intend to learn. So, during this course, we are able to check through the introduction, the quick access to bar. We spoke about creating, copying, and deleting sheets. We talked about inputting data, selecting data, copying and pasting data. We, 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 we vigorously looked into inserting rows and columns, adding rows and columns. And in the second part, I took you through cell size, freeze plane, find and replace, flash view, cell references, spellings check, identifying duplicates. And I, I, I assured you that in the next session, I'll take you through autofill, uh, data separation and then i'm going to go into some function which is the main point or part of this session so when when, when we talk about uh the for the functions we, we are going to be talking about formulas such as sum average and others so i hope you've been enjoying the, the journey so far so without wasting of our time i want us to go straight into our excel sheet let's go straight into our excel sheet and start the class practically okay so welcome to our excel sheet uh i would need to talk to you about something before we uh proceed and that is um you have to note that when we are going to be talking about uh functions and formulas I have spoken about referencing and I told you we have three types of referencing, particularly two. We can reference relatively, absolutely, and mixed. Mixed is when we combine the relative and the absolute. And I have uh, explained that to you in the first part of the video. So if um, peradventure you do not remember well, please go back to the video and check it out. I I will somehow try to talk about it here, but it's not my main focus. So, without wasting time, let's go into our auto fill. Now, auto fill is a function that you can use to uh, automatically fill your cells by allowing Excel to suggest or to uh, copy and replicate a particular type of cell. So, uh, one thing I would like to use in this case is the date format. However, note that this can work for several others. It doesn't have to be it doesn't have to be the date alone. It can work for several other uh, formats. Uh, so to, let's go on 12 2021. So this is a date that I'm writing. Now I want to make use of the auto fill. Now auto fill is in two ways. Is that you just do this drag and drop? That's auto filling. You you see, Excel is suggesting it automatically, and um, I, I always try as much as possible that uh, anytime I'm, I'm I'm trying to teach you, I teach you the shortcuts, and sometimes I expose you to the long method. So there there, there are several ways of doing this. You see, if you notice, it recognized this angle as my month, and saw this as my days. So it will keep increasing. That's what is called autofill. It's not that difficult. But now there are some technical areas of autofill. Now, okay, let's let, let me let me create another thing. Let me just say date two. And then in this case, I'm using 10 04 1992. Okay, so now this is it has automatically recognized this as a date format. You can see it here. So now I want to do something. I want to use the long method. So use the long method. Come to the home tab, then go to the editing group. Click on this view. 
you click on series sorry okay go to the home tab then come to the editing group click on view and come to series so this opens to you what you want to view now let me try and explain okay let me move it to the center let me try and explain this now it asks you how you want to fill the series is it by row is it by colon now what exactly are you feeling is it linear is it a growth now when you talk about linear it means it's going to be adding it's going to be adding your step value this particular place is called step value so it means it's going to be adding your step value to the linear if you say growth it means it will be multiplying it so if you say date it is just going to increase it by the date now if you say auto fill it just means it's going to do what you said auto fill so that's it so that's it so let's click ok sorry I made a mistake I should have I should have just uh, expanded it before we did that but that's not a problem now let me show you another thing that's not just what I want to show you in this case let's say you want to fill it with a date I said it should the step value is one so it means uh, reiterate it the next day so it's it's it should however I'm coming now see this now if I tell it to fill now I said fill by colon put it on date and click ok you see it automatically fills it so that's what i was saying the other time that i made a mistake i should have um highlighted it i'm so sorry that was a um how do they call it uh it just, it just it just keeps my mind anyway so you can come again i've highlighted it row wise now let's say i want to fill it row wise you come to fill again series now auto fill let's see what our auto fill does exactly so if you don't see it, I've told you how to auto fit your column. So it immediately fills it. So they are doing the same function. So that is that. That is that. So let me let me just let me just paint this so that it doesn't. Uh -huh. So we are focusing on this exactly. So now I, I wanted to tell you, I've showed you the long method of doing it by going to the few series. I've told you what the linear would do. I've told you what the growth would do. I've told you what dates and auto fill we do. You have seen both of them work. Now, I want you to know that um, truly, you the best way to learn is to explore. So you can explore some of these things. Okay, let me just show you. So, so uh, number two, I'm putting two here, and I uh, oh sorry, I've forgotten this is in date format. Let me just put it somewhere here. So two, and uh, let's say I I want to fill to some extent now notice that whenever i am highlighting i didn't drag if you drag from this point you are using the auto fill this is auto fill so now i highlighted by clicking on the center of the cell and dragged down left clicking and dragging down so that's not an auto fill so now let's say i want to fill it by um let's go to series of course then you come to um linear now my step value let's say i want it to be um i told you it's going to be like an addition so let me put it as four can you see it's adding four so you get it so i, I think i've been able to explain what linear does I, if, it, if it was growth it would be times like four times two four times so that's how you can do maybe the, you were just asked to generate numbers that are multiplying each other you really don't need to use functions you can simply use the auto fill functions so now I wanted to teach you something about this auto fill. Uh, let me let me let me let me let me let me do it like this. This pane we can continue from this cell. If I drag, I told you if I drag this point, it is auto fill. Let me auto fill to this point. Now you see it brings out this option. This is the auto fill option, like auto fill option. Can you see auto fill option? So you just click it down. You can adjust. It's saying what do you want? What do you want to fill? for this point now i can say fill without formatting if i say fill without formatting it says it means it will just write out the text for me or the values but let's say i want to fill just the year can you see what is changing it's changing the year did you notice that that is now 2021 2022 2023 others remain constant now let me change it to days you see that is the days that are now changing so here you can adjust anything weekdays and everything so that is that and if you want to re um, make a copy just like we had that two 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 
just click copy cells you see it's returned the same particular cell we try to drag so that is that about auto view i hope you get that so now um <clears throat> now i'm moving on to data separation i'm excited to teach you this because i, I remember the last time we were trying to use a uh, flash view to separate um the names i don't know if you still remember and then it wasn't working well because it's it's not the work of flash view but then it's fine so let me just teach you data separation i'll be very quick about it but i want you to explore that's what i will say so uh we'll be using this email column so let's highlight the column i've taught you how to highlight then come to the data tab click on data okay so because we want to separate data we want to do data separation come to the data to group and click on text to column so now it brings out this what we want to do is we want to separate so because we want to separate uh okay okay no problem let's continue uh click on delimiters delimiters are like um, characters that are in between your text so we have a character here and that is r we want to so it's not tab it's not semi comma it's not anything it's just orders so click on orders and then we click on r so do you notice it has separated it even here so it has separated the data and then we say finish make sure it's on text oh okay oh that's true i'm so sorry about that though it has replaced the gender i was supposed to have created the column there so please do that on your own make sure you create the column so that you don't lose your um uh, you don't lose your data so now we've been able to remove this two from one another it would have been easy to be able to call these characters out if they add the same number of first name like the same number of characters for first name so in this case it might not be very easy even to use the data separation because you, 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 you will have to try to use some something as a delimiter or something but there's another way to use it actually there's another way to call actually but it's going to be somehow difficult so you have to use find find function and that's somehow advanced let's just leave that let's go into i hope you get the data separation so you can always separate data i can decide to separate 12 from all this you can try it on your own so now let's move on to today's uh work itself and that is a uh, formula so i would like to create a new sheet so now we want to talk about formulas basically excel gives you a lot of formula now you cannot know every formula of is it of memory now this is the formula bar i know we've been taught that and you cannot know every formula on your head this is the formula bar you can't so just keep up with the excel suggestion excel has a formula suggestion that as they are typing a formula let me show you an example i said it the other time that before you start any formula you have to start by referencing which is equal to equal to means you are referencing so if i say equal to sum can you see excel is suggesting so excel will suggest to you so uh firstly i think uh okay let me go to uh I need I need to clear this okay let me just let me just let me just copy this particular I hope I taught you about copying that's very good let's use this for our copy and paste so if you want to copy and paste the first thing you do is you highlight I've taught you how to highlight and then click right click and then pick copy now when you copy you notice this moving highlight around it now come to where you want to paste it. i want to paste it on this sheet now there are several ways of pasting now listen i'm going to talk about that quickly you can decide to paste if you use this button paste it's just going to paste exactly the way it is where you are coming from if you paste with these values it's going to paste only the value if what you are copying contains a uh, different type of format uh formulas it's not going to copy those formulas it's just going to drop it as a value now if you use this it's going to drop only the formula now if you use this it's going to transpose change row to column i hope you can see the expression now if you change this it's just going to do 
percentage formatting now i want to show you something you see all this type of paste that i just showed you do you notice they didn't show again now if they don't show up again you don't need to be worried you just click on paste special now when it comes to uh paste special Yes, the copy has been removed. I'm sorry. Let's come and copy again. I guess I clicked out. So let's come in. So I don't, I've, I've explained this to you. So let me explain using the paste special. So you click paste special. Now paste special brings out exactly those things we saw there. If you want to paste all, just exactly the way it is. That first button I told you. Now just formulas, just value, just formats, just comments, and everything. Just paste normally. We need to only do normal. So this is fine. And then let me expand it so that's how to paste i've explained that ctrl v also works well it works well so let me now show you some formula let me expand so that we do uh formula uh how should i do it okay let's say some let's say average you can create the columns on your own i do not think i'm going to create it for the practice file i'm using the practice file i sent to you uh, for part two so i want you to be i want it to really be an hands-on thing so make sure you're doing it okay so now we want to add these two cells together we want to add their annual income and the spending score together so let's let's say i've told you to start a formula you start with equal to and if sum is what you want to do just click sum you see it brings it out now different type of sum sum if is when you are doing conditional summing some products if you are doing product summing and everything but then we are doing a normal sum here not just not product so we, you okay sorry i didn't say what i did there click on sum or clip type typing sum then click on uh, um, put a bracket then the first number this is asking you that was the first number so just go and click on the cell then plus oh you don't need to use plus sorry we are <laughs> we are under some <laughs> so comma then the second number so this is the second number and then you close the bracket and it's automatically sums now i've told you about um auto fill and i've told you that auto fill when you drag auto fill in this place it applies the formula on every other cell so this is relative the moment it gets to here it adds a theory look at it here that's a three and b three. If I get here, it's adding a five. That's relative. Now, if I want to keep click keep one constant, I've told you about that before. If you intend to keep one constant, let's say I want to find the. Okay, let's let's do the sum total of all this. To sum, but let's do the sum of all this. Let's just say equal to sum. Equal to sum of all this. I want to show you something. Okay, so this is the sum so i'm printing it so that we can recognize it now let's say i want to do the average of all this total using the sum so it's going to be equal to this slide this cell that's their each total divided by the grand total so now i click that i'm having 0 0.12 now I, if i say i should keep going down can you see it's praying divination error because it cannot see it's trying to continue here too it's trying to continue down you see what is adding c11 so it's moving down but it can't see so for me to make this formula work i need to make this particular cell that's 439 absolute and then how do i do that function 4 f4 some of you f4 f4 will not work on your system directly you have to press the fn key on the keyboard and then press your f4 so yeah enter now if i you see if i drag it down it will give me the average one of them why because it's keeping this constant now concerning this function there are a lot of function in microsoft excel let's let's bring out some of the formula so come and click on this button exactly so when i hope you saw what i clicked on let me click on it again yeah that button so it brings out some of the formulas that we have in excel so uh let me just tell you what they do it's talking about my most recently used i use it this a lot but anyway let me just tell you some of them or let me see if i can go to uh hall and probably I'll be, ah hey i'll be able to explain all because that's actually much 
let me go to um, what can I say? What can I say? Let's just say statistical exactly. So at least I'll show you. So there's a lot of formula. The only thing you need to do is um to understand what the formulas do. So you need to understand what the formulas do. So uh, let me just explain a couple of them. I won't really apply them. I would just explain them. And then what I would do for you is I would send you a document that that contains the formulas and what they do. Mind you, I might not be able to give you all the formulas because Excel has a lot of formula. But at least you'll be able to you've been able to understand how to apply. That's the most important part of applying formulas or functions is the ability to understand that whenever this is this one, when you need to reference using relative or using both now in the case of this average i used both so I, I hope you understand that so let me just randomly tell you some of this formula okay we have average this one is using for average deviation now one thing about excel is as you click on it it gives you explanation of the of those formula so you can come to this function don't forget this space click on it anytime check out any formula you can use this to navigate and if you don't know you can come here and search and click on go so now let, let, let me go into one part of um, the formula that I find very interesting and is the is the if functions come formulas that have if like like the other time I was talking about um, addition some if so if now let me just share you with you some of um, the function part of this um, just the if function and how it works because you might need it I don't know so but the intermediate course will cater for that and the advanced but let me just show you equal to if now I can decide to do anything with this if now it's saying the logical test what is my logical test I can then say if this is greater than 20 if this column is greater than 20 that's if a5 is greater than a2 sorry is greater than 20 what should you do value if true now i want you to write fine boy please note that i'm putting it inside koto inside quotation comma again now if that is false that's what it's asking value if false i'll just say Remember to put it in quotes, get out. So can you see? You return get out. So as I as I keep coming down, this is a relative one. So it's doing for everything. You notice fine boy started from uh fine boy started from greater than 20 because this was still less than 20. I didn't say if it's equal to. I can, if I want this 20 to be um what's it called? To be uh also fine boy i'll just change my formula here that i don't just want greater i want greater or equal to so i've put greater or equal to now so by the time i draw it down it should turn 22 to fine boy so that's how it works so like i said you have to practice a lot on this formula i've explained to you how to use formulas how to apply them and all that now if you are not using formula function doesn't mean you cannot work with I can add these numbers together by equal to and clicking this particular cell and saying plus or minus or whatever and plus it to this and press OK. So what the formula function does is it saves you from doing that. You just say equal to sum into brackets and you tell it the two um, cells separated by a comma and then it does it. So it's still the same thing. Now I intend to tell you how to reference. Uh, how to note referencing and all that it's possible you add numbers from another work workbook like a workbook that is different from this particular workbook i can add this column to something in another workbook okay let me show you that so let's say i want to add this um 15 the annual income i'll just say equal to some and then i'm adding this right now comma i want to add it to something else in another um excel sheet ah, i said sheet in another excel sheet yeah excel sheet so let's come this sheet one i'm coming to another sheet now 
let's say I want to add it to the age. Now, notice the way it referenced it. It referenced using the name of the sheet. And then I can I can close it from here and press enter. And it returns me to show that it has added it. So it can do that. It can do that. So I hope you've enjoyed yourself. Like I said, I'm going to send you a document on formulas in Excel and what they do and a uh, brief explanation of them. I hope you'll be able to work with them. You can always reach out to me. You can have a private scheduled class where we can um, discuss it over Zoom and check it together and see uh, and solve any challenges you have. Okay, thank you very much for being a part of this course. I hope you've been a, it's, it's been a nice time here. Thank you once again. Take care.